Hi guys, today we are going to be reviewing the Vintage Kenner Star Wars Yoda from 1980. I wanted to say 1988. I have no idea why I wanted to say that, but 1980. Anyway, here we are. As you can see, <laughs> the setup is a lot smaller than usual. <laughs> because this figure is so tiny. Of course, Yoda is very short, no offense. Uh, here, if I grab a, I guess, normal size vintage Kenner Star Wars figure here, then you can see they're a lot taller. This one is Waldersman from 1978, but look at that, look at that size comparison, okay. Anyway, this figure is great. I was amazed when I finally got my hands on this figure. Uh, this figure is not complete. Uh, Yoda here is missing his little cane, which actually any of his accessories go for a ton of money. So I'll put on screen one of the eBay listings. <laughs> it's a lot. Anyway, so as you can see, you've got we've got his belt, which is actually really nice. We've got a ton of little supplies here coming off his belt. We've got a little thing back here. Actually, I've never noticed this. Oh, I think this is uh what keeps his belt together. You might be able to take it off. Nothing I want to do, but A, there's an option. He's got his nice cloth robe. Uh, with his little uh, back sticking out there. He is wearing, like, a black suit. You can commonly see... Or a brown suit. Uh, you can commonly see him... Um, selling without uh, any of these accessories or anything. Because uh, they were so... Oh, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They were so commonly lost uh, back in the 80s. This one was very lucky that I actually uh, ha still has its... Um, oh my gosh, stand up. There we go. Snake. These things were a very commonly lost accessory. Here, you can tell that this is uh, topside because you can see here, maybe... Uh, you can kind of see the eye and the mouth. I don't know if you really can on camera. Oh, you kind of can. You've got to look really close, though. Uh, anyway, that is an awesome accessory. We've got here the sculpt on like uh the feet and the toes really awesome no paint for the nails on the uh toes or the fingers yeah it's having trouble focusing there we go but still an awesome figure We've got nice green eyes with a very nice uh sculpted head here. Yeah, this figure is great. You can usually see uh, this figure around this condition. Uh, I'd say maybe around like $60. I'll put on screen if I'm wrong. A couple eBay listings. But this, this figure is great. Again, on the snake, we've got a lot of nice detail with the skin. That is also very nice. This figure is just an amazing one to have in my collection. And I am I'm very happy about that. I don't know if 
there is much more to say about this amazing figure. Wow. If you guys have enjoyed this video, then go check out some of my other reviews. I've got Vintage Kenner Star Wars reviews. I've got some Motu reviews. Uh, new Star Wars reviews. Uh, figure openings. And I've got a lot more other types of content planned in the future. So stick around. Also, shout out to KR Retro Figures. He also makes Vintage Kenner Star Wars reviews. And he also made the intro that you guys saw at the beginning of this video. So, shout out to him. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.